Alright then gang, so now hopefully you know a good amount about components, properties, actions, user events and all that jazz. And now what I'd like to do is flesh out this create book page component with a web form so that a user can add a new book to the database. So let's open the component view up and just start to flesh this out. Now the first thing we need on this page is a form. So let's make that form tag and eventually we'll be hooking the submit event of this form up to an action in the component class to save the new book. Before that though, we need a few different form fields for the book information, which a user can fill in. We need a field for the book title, one for the author of the book and a third one for the rating of the book, which is a number between one and 10. So to track and store what a user types into these input fields, we'll be using the LiveWire model directive, which we've already seen. And that allows us to bind the value of a property between the input field and the component class. So before we actually flesh this form out, I wanna quickly open the component class and make these three different properties, which we can bind to. And inside this class, we're gonna make the first public property called dollar sign title and then a second one, second public property called dollar sign author. And then we also need a final public property called dollar sign rating. And we don't need to assign any initial values to these properties because we want the input fields to be empty to begin with. But then when a user fills out the form and submits it, those properties are gonna be updated by the values in the input fields. So then let's head back to the view and finish up the form. All right, so what I'm gonna do is create a div right here with a class of field. And then inside this field, I'm gonna do, first of all, a label. And we don't need this for for this. The label will say book title. All right, so underneath that, we need an input field. And we'll use a wire model. So we'll say wire and then a colon and then model. And we set that equal to the title property that we just made. All right, and then underneath this, I'm just gonna leave a little space and that's gonna be for some error feedback later when we do validation, probably in the next lesson. For now, I'm gonna grab this thing and I'm just gonna paste it in a couple more times down here because we need two more fields. So the second one is gonna be the book author and we need to update the model down here as well to be the author property. And then finally, it will say book rating and this actually has to be of type number so the user can only enter numbers and this will be for the rating property as well. All right, so finally, we just need a button down here. So let's do that button. And then we'll say add book for the text of this button. All right, so now we need to hook up this form submit event to a function over here, an action. So let's come to the form first and say wire submit. And we're gonna set that equal to a save action. So now let's go and save, or rather create this save action over here. We'll create a new public function. So public function called save. And inside here, we want to save the book. Now we don't need any arguments because when we submit the form, all of these values inside the inputs are gonna be then updated in the component. So we have those values. All we need to do is create a new book record inside this function now. And we can do that by using the book model. So let me click on this to use it. And then we're gonna use a method called create. And inside this method, we just need to pass in an array of key value pairs for this book. So we need three different fields. We need the title, the author, and the rating. So let's say the title is gonna be equal to this and the title property on it, oops. Let's do this little arrow correctly, like so. And then we'll do the author, which is gonna be equal to this author. And then finally, we need the rating, and that's gonna be equal to this rating. All right, can I do this? No, rating, okay. So, this will go out and create that document or rather that record for us in the database. And once we've done this, I would like to redirect the user back to the homepage because otherwise we'll just stay sitting on the create page and we won't know if anything's happened. So to redirect in LiveWire, we can say this and then use a method called redirect on that. And we just want to redirect to the home route. And that's all we have to do. So I think that is everything. 
Now we have this form with the three different fields hooked up to the properties using the Y model. When we submit the form, we fire the save function, which creates that new book and then redirects us to the homepage. So let's try this out. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to add a book and for the book title, I'm gonna say name of the wind. The author is Patrick Rothfuss and the book rating is nine. In fact, I'm gonna take it down to eight because I'm so annoyed he's not released his third one. We're gonna add that and if we scroll down here, we can see name of the wind down here. Awesome. So that is all working, my friends. Now we've created a web form over here and we've hooked it up to an action on the create form uh, component class, which is saving that new record to the database.